This short video is going to look at both area and perimeter. With area, we concern ourselves with the amount of space taken up by a shape. So the space inside of a shape. Whereas perimeter is concerned with the distance all the way around the shape. So if we start at one point and we work our way all the way around the shape, adding up all of the sides, that gives us the perimeter. But a few more examples will help us to establish and understand the difference between these two terms. Another 12. Let's begin by looking at a basic shape. So here we have a rectangle measuring 5 centimeters by 12 centimeters. And the first thing that we're going to work out is the actual perimeter of the shape. So we're going to calculate the distance from point X all the way around the shape and back to point X. So we're adding up all four sides. So opposite the 5 centimeter line, we have another 5 centimeter line. And opposite 12 centimeters, you've got another 12 centimeter side. So the perimeter will be the 5 centimeters plus the 5 centimeters plus 12 centimeters plus 12 centimeters. Two fives are 10, two twelves are 24. Add those both together to get a perimeter of 34 centimeters. Area and I. Area now is the space inside of the shape. So area, all we've got to do is multiply one length by the other. So it will be 5 times 12. And the area will be 60 centimetres squared. So area is measured in squared measurements, whether it's centimetres or metres or kilometres. In this case, 60 centimetres squared. Here we have another rectangle, this one measuring 15 centimetres by 2 centimetres. First, let's begin by working at the perimeter of the shape. So again, the perimeter is all about the distance all the way around. So we go all the way around the shape. So it's 15 plus 2 plus another 15 plus 2. So the perimeter, the sum will be 15 centimetres plus the 2 centimetres plus another 15 centimetres, plus 2 centimetres. There are four numbers to be added up because there are four sides. 15 and 15 is 30, 2 and 2 is 4, so my perimeter is 34 centimetres. And now for the area. So the area is the space inside of the shape, and it is found by measuring the length by the breadth. So one side measurement by the other. So it's 15, which is the length of the ship, by the breadth, which is 2. 15 times 2 is 30, and it's in centimetres squared. In this example, we have an irregular ship, but again, we can still calculate the perimeter and the area because we have all the measurements that are required. Let's begin by putting in the missing measurements that aren't given to us. So we've got to do a little bit of working out. So if we know that this bottom side is 4, then that gap is 4. The whole thing being 12. So 12 minus the 4. I know then that that side there is going to be 8 centimetres. And let me just remove those lines so as we don't confuse ourselves with the next part of the question. So the other side there that is not given to us at the moment over here it is simply the 4 plus the 3 so it's going to be 7 centimeters. And again let me remove those lines to reduce confusion. Let's work out our perimeter then. So again we have to add up all of the sides. And let's have a look to see how many sides we're going to be adding up. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sides. So we need 6 numbers. 12 plus 3 plus 8 plus 4 plus 4 plus 7. So 
I just worked my way around the shape. I started at one point and I returned to that point. So 12 plus 8 gives you 20. 4 plus 4 is 8. 7 plus 3 is 11. And let's add up those three digits now. So 20 plus 11 is 31 plus the 8 is 39. So my perimeter is 39 centimeters. Now for the area. With an irregular shape it's a little bit more challenging but what we need to do is divide this shape up. So I'm going to separate it into two shapes. So I've got shape 1 and shape 2. The area of shape 1. Let's look at it first. It is simply a square measuring 4 by 4. So shape 1 is 4 times 4, 16 centimetres squared. 16 centimetres squared. Shape 2 is 3 by 12. It's a rectangle there on top. So shape 2 is 3 times 12, giving you 36 centimetres squared. So the total area is found by adding those two smaller areas of area 1 and 2. So it's 36 plus 16. 6 plus 6 is 12. 1 over 3. 1 and 1 is 5. So your total area of the entire shape is 52 centimetres squared. In this example we have a even more challenging shape. We're going to divide it up into three separate areas. So to get the overall area of the shape we're going to add all three of those. So I'll make a separation here and here. So we've got one, two and three. Three clear separate areas. So area one. Let's have a look to see how we're going to calculate area one. It is a rectangle measuring 5 by 4. So for area 1, it is simply 5 times 4, giving you 20 centimetres squared. Let's now look at area 2. Well, we know this side is 5 centimetres. We've got to calculate this smaller one. Well, we know that this is a length of three centimeters, but the entire thing is four. So that missing number in there that we need to calculate was one centimeter. So the area for section two is five centimeters multiplied by one centimeter, giving you five centimeters squared. And now let's look at the third section. We've got a two centimeter by 8 centimeter rectangle. So number 3 area is found by multiplying 2 by 8 giving you 16 centimeters squared. So the overall area will now be found by adding up those three different sections. So 20 plus 16 plus 5 put them in there to a vertical sum 0, 6 and 5 are 11 1 down, 1 over 2, 1 and 1, 4. My total area of the red shape is 41 centimetres squared. In this question we are asked to find the area of the red shape. So you can see that there is a hole in this, almost in the centre of the red shape. A little rectangle has been cut out. So what we need to do is, is find the area of the entire shape. So the all of the red area. And then you subtract the white shape that has been cut out. Okay, and let me remove all of those lines to reduce any confusion. So we're going to find the area of the entire red shape without the hole. And then we're going to subtract the hole that's been cut out of the red shape. So the entire area is 8 by 8. 8 times 8 which is 64 centimeters squared. And we have to take away the rectangle that has been cut out, which is two by five. Two times five is 10 centimeters squared. 
So the area of the red shape is 64 minus 10, which is 54 centimeters squared. Now we're going to look at working out the area and perimeter of a triangle. So the perimeter again, the same method applies, it is simply the distance all the way around the shape. So it is 9 plus 6 plus 12. So 9 plus 6 plus 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. Add on the 9 brings you up to 27 centimeters. And the area now of a triangle is half the base times the height. Again, I'm going to remove some of those lines to reduce any confusion. So to get the area of the triangle, it is half the base times the height. So the base we can see is six centimeters. The height is nine centimeters. Half of the base would be three. Times that by nine to give you 27 centimeters squared. We could multiply the base of six by the height of nine to give us 54. And then we get half our answer at the end. You still get the 27 centimeters squared. In this example, we have an isosceles triangle where two sides are the same length. We see the height running right through the center of eight centimeters and the base in this triangle along the bottom there is 20 centimeters. So first, let's begin by working out the perimeter. So remember the perimeter is the distance all the way around the shape. So on this occasion, it is 13 plus 13 plus 20. 13 and 13 is 26 plus 20 then, bringing you up to a perimeter of 46 centimeters. Now the area. Remember the area, little equation, is half the base times the height. Well, the base is 20 and our height is 8. So half the base is 10 times your height of 8, giving you an area of 80 centimeters squared. Or alternatively, we can work out 20 times 8 brings you to 160, and then you can half it at the end. You still get the same answer of 80 centimetres squared. I just prefer to half the base at the beginning because it then means that we're working with smaller numbers to multiply.